Oh, bro, that's a meter. That's a meter. What's going on guys? Here we are. We're out on the Ross River somewhere local in Townsville here um, chasing some big barra. So we've had a fair bit of rain in the past 48 hours which has obviously made the creeks move again. So the barra are obviously trying to head upstream to breed. Well, they can't actually breed in here but natural instincts makes them do, do so. So I just dropped an absolute donkey of a fish. Obviously the camera wasn't rolling. That's normally the way it goes. But we're going to keep casting them here with my dad um, and hopefully we'll smack a couple. There's no issue because there's hardly any, any steam pumps. But although, you know, the, the, the brakes. The brakes, of course, are steel, but um, it's very good for your motor to occasionally run yeah. fresh. Mm. Only a baby compared to the other one. <laughs> nice. All right. First little barrow of the morning. Only a pup, I'd say late 40s. I missed an absolute giant probably three or four minutes before this. But like I said before, Murphy's Law, the camera wasn't running. But he's a nice, healthy, healthy little fish. We seem to be on a little bit of a bite here, which is fantastic. Um, so we'll take the hook out and we'll let him go. Yeah. All right, so we're just gonna nose him straight in. Obviously, um, I wanna try and support these fish as much as possible, but he's a pretty small little fish, so we'll let him go. Now, I just wanna show you before I start casting again what I'm using. This one obviously is a bit mangled up, but what it is, is a Western 5.5 inch shad tease. That's the lure right there. Nice big paddle tail, quite a widthy profile on this plastic, nice orange underbelly, but any color will work. But we'll get a new one and we'll keep going. Yep. On again. Nice. Set him, set him again. Just set it, just set it just in case. There you go. Nice. Finally, Bruss. Oh, oh no. Yeah, got him. How many dropped today? Three? Too many. Too many dropped. How many dropped today? Four. <laughs> it's the first one landed. Dropped the dunk this morning though, but that's a nice healthy little fish, isn't it? It's not even tagged. No? They should be, shouldn't they? Yeah. Must have fallen out. Anyway, we'll let him go. Hang on. Nice man. On? Yep. Nice. Oh. Oh. I don't know man, I just maybe they're short striking, I'm not sure. I still to this day it amazes me how a fish misses trebles. That's a lot of pressure. Was he taking drag? Yeah, it's, it's like if it's taking drag, man, those hooks are set, eh? Yep. 
good fish, man. Good fish. Oh, bro, that's a meter. That's a meter. It's a meter. It's a meter fish. Oh, go on! I can't I can land them. Can land these fish. Oh. Right, he had that right down there. Look at that. Do you reckon that was the same fish that was hanging there eating that bait? Don't know. <sighs> Same size it's not bigger. That was a definitely a meter fish. Man, he had that right down his gullet. Like, how do I miss that? Do you know what I mean? Like, that's yeah. how deep it was in his mouth. <sighs> yep, John is on. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Good one? Yeah, mate. Yep, good fish. Don't give him slack on that way down, eh? Hey? That's good fish, man. You alright? Yeah. Uh, 70s? Yeah, it'd be late 60s, early 70s. Uh, okay. out. Yeah, nice man, nice. Finally getting the hooks to set. Bit of a hot bite at the moment. I just lost the donkey and Johnny got that guy, so what we'll do is we'll probably let him go and we'll up. keep going. Spear him in. You can, man, yeah. Sick, nice work. Right, what a morning we're having. Um, bit of a slow start and we decided to make a move and we just found this one little honey hole where it's just it's going off. I've landed one. John has dropped three. Landed two. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And I lost a bloody massive, massive, massive fish. But they're here. We'll keep going. We'll keep casting. That's barrow fishing. And I guess we'll just keep going. There's nothing you can do. This move would be good, man. It's only a baby compared to yours. Yes. Yes. First barrel for the morning landed. Uh, we've got this one on the 5.5 inch shad tees. Jono literally first cast lost an absolute donkey. We were grinding away this morning, thought we'd make a move onto another sort of water outlet and or drain and third cast for me, second cast for Jono, or first cast for Jono, and I was rewarded, but we'll get this guy back in and we'll keep going. Righto, hooks out, a couple of photos and we'll let him go. Alright, he's ready to go. Off the all right guys, there you have it. Another pretty sweet day on the water. As you can probably tell, I was with my dad one day and then I was with Jono the next, so they are actually two days combined into one. With all this extra rain getting around, the barra are on the move, especially in the impoundment. So, what's not to do except make the most of it? As you can see, I lost an absolute giant of a fish. Um, he would have been easy over $1.15, like he was absolutely massive. It seems to be like the bigger fish is sort of eluding me. I lost two giants the day I fished with my dad as well. Um, but something happened with the camera and the battery, so I missed the first fish that I hooked um, on film, and then I actually did another one later on in the day. It was another massive fish in really, really shallow water. We actually sight casted him. We saw him feeding on some archer fish. I threw my lure there, and um, he had a whack at it. 
I wound it in, reset the lure, cast again, bang, had him, but he rocked through my 40 pound leader. Then I hooked, which you saw, that monster again with Jono, and th that time I did nothing wrong, I guess, um, that's fishing here, didn't hail it so far down that the hook might have not had a good place to set in its mouth, probably on that thin layer of skin um, on the top of his mouth, so, but hey, that's fishing, I do get a little bit frustrated, but I think it will eventually work out for me, and the way I look at it is, I, the first one I hooked, well, he rolled on my lure, I didn't hook him, the second one, I hooked, he jumped me off because he rubbed through my leader. The third one, I managed to pull out of the structure, fight for a while, and then he popped off. So the fourth one, I think if you look at it like it's in concession, it's going in the net. It has to go in the net. I, I lose my mind. But anyway, guys, um, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry for the um, bit of a break between the videos. Obviously, with all the rain and stuff, it's made it a little bit hard to fish. But I will try and keep that up again and get more videos flowing. But as always, guys, please like, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the hell of you guys.